Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Los Angeles class nuclear attack submarines, the backbone of the United States submarine service. Please remember to like and subscribe. All right, fact one, initially did not have missile launchers. The Los Angeles class nuclear submarines was originally intended really just for naval warfare. And so it actually didn't have any vertical launch tubes and was strictly just torpedoes to destroy other ships or submarines. This class of nuclear attack submarines was originally conceived during the Cold War to counter the growing Russian submarine fleet. The United States felt that the Russians had an upper advantage with their fast attack submarines and decided to create their own, and this was the answer. However, as the Cold War ended, the second half of the Los Angeles class attack submarines was retrofitted with vertical launch tubes so that it could launch missiles from underneath the sea. That way, it's not just strictly a attack submarine of other naval warships or submarines, but it could also attack land targets or other aircraft targets. I think it's always useful to have more purpose in one single ship so that it could be more versatile. Alright, fact 2. Endurance of 90 days. Now, despite the fact that this is a nuclear power submarine, it cannot stay underwater for too long. In fact, the maximum duration of its deployment is about 90 days. And this is incredibly interesting, you might ask why, since it's nuclear powered. Nuclear fuel generally does not need to be refueled and could run for years and years without any refueling. The problem with the submarine is because it has a limited capacity for cargo space. The reason why the Los Angeles class attack submarines need to return to port after 90 days or so is simply because of food. The 100 plus sailors and officers aboard the submarine need food to survive. While the submarine has unlimited range with the nuclear power as well as oxygen generator, technically it could stay underwater for a very long time if it, people didn't need to eat food. But because people do need to eat food, this submarine is unable to stay underwater for too long. And so the maximum endurance is about 90 days give or take. Now of course this being the military, technically you could force people to eat less and ration food and so forth. But you know that's not gonna create a very pleasant journey and likely introduce mistakes and catastrophes aboard the submarine. And so 90 days is about the maximum time. Alright, fact 3. Dry Dock Shelter Another very interesting feature of the Los Angeles Attack Submarine is the Dry Dock Shelter that is a modular attachment to the top of the submarine. This thing that you see here is designed so that Navy SEALs or other special operations people could travel outside of the submarine while underwater and therefore doesn't require the submarine to actually surface to deploy them. What happens is Naval Special Forces such as Navy SEALs would exit out of the dry dock shelter while underwater using their underwater power equipment and that way they could really get into an area undetected because the submarine is still well under the surface of the sea and the Navy SEALs or Special Operators can simply exit out underwater and power drive to their destination and commence their attack. It's a very incredible feature of the Los Angeles class submarine and also I like the modularity of it so that they don't actually need to have this all the time if they're not carrying Navy SEALs or special operators. They could simply put this back on the dry dock and wait for the next time it's needed. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 4. Auxiliary Diesel Generator Another interesting fact about the Los Angeles class attack submarine is that despite its nuclear power plant, it still has auxiliary diesel generators. The auxiliary diesel generators are used in case the reactor suffers some kind of catastrophic failure and a generator could be turned on to power the submarine. However, keep in mind, in that scenario, they're likely going to have to surface or find some other way to pipe out the exhaust from the diesel generator. 
As you can imagine, a diesel engine is going to create quite a bit of noise and exhaust, which is carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. That could be very dangerous to an enclosed space such as a submarine. And so I think the diesel generator is really more for like an emergency purpose rather than a backup to continue endurance, as an example. It is likely that it's a total backup in case the generator fails and the submarine needs to surface and return to a friendly waters. If the whole propulsion system goes down, they could be completely dead in the water and that could be very bad if they're in deep enemy territory or unfriendly waters. And so the auxiliary diesel generator is able to get them out in a pinch by powering the submarine. But since it's so loud, it is likely they'll give away their positions. Alright, let's get the next and final fact critical to the US Navy. As I mentioned in the previous sections, the Los Angeles class attack submarines is the backbone of the United States Navy submarine service. There's no other submarines in the United States Navy that's more numerous than the Los Angeles class attack submarine. And because of this, even though these submarines are very old, introduced in the 70s, the United States Navy doesn't actually want to retire these submarines just yet. There are many programs undergoing as we speak to prolong the service life of these submarines. Some submarines are already well past their expected service life and the Navy is looking for ways to continue refurbishing them and upgrading them so that they could keep stay in service. I think it's incredibly interesting that for the United States Navy that could procure any kind of equipment they want, decided to not go forth with a whole new class of submarines but instead try to prolong the service life of these existing ones. It goes to show you that the Los Angeles attack submarines are very successful and absolutely critical to the United States Navy's strategy. Alright, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.